Hey guys, quick and dirty video of what I think is best practice when changing CV joint boots. Today we are honored to have uh, Project Juliet in the house. She's a B170 Mercedes. She came in with a split inboard boot, so we went ahead and changed everything. Um, as you can see from my arsenal of parts, here we have the um, joint itself nicely cleaned and checked for tolerance. We have the splined roller also cleaned and checked. We have the roller cage that holds the balls in place and the roller balls themselves including the inboard bearings. So I'll just walk you through quickly how to assemble this because I've got a few requests of how to split, check and reassemble these and people often don't know how to go around it but it's uh, actually quite simple if you can get to disassemble it you can get to reassemble it so for most cars the cage goes in one way and as you can tell here the thickness on this side is greater than on this side and uh, the roller the spline roller will also tell you typically with the beveled edge being on on the upper side when you're looking at the joint from the inside so once you have the roller caged just slip it into the joint typically using one of the slots and uh, voila there you go it slips right in so after that you can then have your balls <laughs> you can have your balls put in one at a time it's a bit of a precision job so you need to be patient because they won't always slide in the first time so angle it outward pop it in slide in go to the next same thing pop in slide in and the next pop in slide in be sure to align the cage and the roller as you do each ball this ensures they're not scratched because as you will notice there's no lubrication right now and that's ball number five a bit of a tiff looks like I'm missing one let me find where it went all right found it so that's number five as the balls go in they will be the cage will be a little harder to turn because now there's resistance but just be easy and patient with it should work out pretty well and there goes number six voila so done and done You'll notice the balls won't come out when the shaft is in place because the angle of the shaft is greater than, uh, I mean the angle of the shaft is less than the angle needed to get the balls out. So there you have it. Something I forgot to mention is that uh, most CV joints, at least the outboard joints, have uh, reusable heads and so what that means is they will normally have a locking clip or some sort of spring-loaded uh, ring that will allow you to pop the joint out when you need to take it out and after you're done with the maintenance you pop it back in and that makes life very easy for removing the joint without damaging it as is typical some service crew will hammer the life out of these joints as they're trying to remove it and normally once the cage is damaged or uh, the roller assembly is damaged then that's pretty much it the joint won't live too long so, same case goes for the inboard side uh, this one is a sack clip as is visible there and uh, so just remove that and slide the joint out when done cleaning and inspecting put it back in now in the case of uh, Juliet her roller bearings go on this way 
and they don't have any locking pins as once the shaft is in the joint they cannot come out the cup will be holding them so there'll be no way for the rollers to come out and uh, that's pretty much it now here's uh, the assembled joint nice and smooth with new fresh boots both inboard and outboard you are recommended to use the the supplied um, metal bands to lock these in but over the years i've learned that if you do have some high quality industrial grade uh, zip ties such as these then they do the job just as well yep so that's pretty much it time to reassemble one more thing i need to say the secret behind long living bearings and rollers or any sort of u-joint that incorporates bearing shells or roller bearings is cleanliness whenever you're setting up make sure you are in a sterile environment as you can see i've made some attempts to clean them up and i'm working on a safe and clean surface and uh, just take your time if you can take your time get quality boots get quality grease as you can see there clean the whole joint out put it back together and once done you should get anything up to a hundred thousand kilometers on one set of joints